it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is understanding how important it is for ventilation in really old homes. So where I'm from and where I plan a lot of weddings, we have these beautiful historical mansions, which look amazing. But when it's August and it's 102 degrees outside and you you have a client that does not want to pay for air or fans or ventilation, it can become a huge issue. This was early on in my career, and so I was a little bit passive about mentioning these things to my clients. So when I did a final walkthrough with the client 30 days roughly before the wedding, it was hot. And I'm not really a sweater, even when I'm working out, I'm not like a huge sweater. But I was just walking through and sweat was actually coming out of my hair. And so I had to pull it up in a ponytail and I looked at the client and I said, what, what's our plan of action? I know you really don't want to pay for air condition, but the ventilation in here is really quite dangerous. She said, oh, we'll just watch the weather and see what it's doing. And if we really need to pay for fans, we can bring in fans and a little bit of air condition. Well, of course, the week got hotter and hotter as it went on. So the day before she said, okay, please pay for some fans, get a little air condition. But we really didn't start the whole ventilation process in time. So the wedding happens, guests are outside, there's no shade. They come inside to this beautiful historical mansion that was decorated really pretty, but it was so hot. The, the food was hot, obviously, but you don't wanna eat hot food when you're pouring sweat. So I ran back to the bathroom to get my bride a cold paper towel and some ice from the caterer. I'll never forget, and as I'm walking out of the bathroom, this little old lady faints, and it happens to be my bride's grandma. So of course it caused a huge scene. Everyone came rushing over. I immediately called 911. It was just a reactive thing, and that's the first time I ever had to do that in my career, but I didn't want her grandma to drop dead on me. So I called 911, the ambulance got there super fast, and when the guy came in, he was like, are you the planner? Wow, it's really hot in here. He had some thing that he tested the air ventilation, and he said, this is really unsafe for 200 people to be in this home with very little ventilations, the fans that you have and the little air condition. When did you start this, and you're the planner? And of course, I look like an idiot where I didn't educate my client. So I learned really, really quickly after that event that you, you have to educate your client to spend the money where they need to spend the money so that your guests have a really good experience. Even though the, the mansion was beautiful and it was lit really well with great lighting and had beautiful linens and beautiful flowers, the guests were miserable. Much less did they want to dance on the dance floor when the DJ started. So the grandma went to the hospital, she was okay. She totally fainted from heat exhaustion. Thank God no one else fainted that day, but her grandma was in pretty good health. So it was quite a shock when that happened. So now when I have a client that gives me pushback on wanting to pay for ventilation, I share this story with them and educate them and say, it doesn't matter if you spend a billion dollars on a wedding, your guests are gonna remember how they feel. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.